Do you ever try to build a nice house in The Sims 2, but it seems like no matter what you do, your builds just come out looking sort of boxy and unappealing? Well, don't go anywhere, because in my new tutorial series, Building Made Easy, I'm going to go through with you step by step, showing you how to get your builds looking more like this. What's up guys, Simmergetic here. Um, before we get started with this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos or content. I have so much planned for 2020 and I don't want you to miss any of it. Um, you can also feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'm very active and responsive to messages. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or even suggestions for like future videos or build, uh, tutorial videos, I'm very open to suggestions. You can leave a comment down below. You can message me or email me and uh, all that will be available in the description. So yeah, thanks for stopping by my channel and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you. Thanks. So real quick while my game's loading up, I kind of wanted to give you guys an example of what you could do with roofing once you get the hang of it. Now this is a really simple house, this is a country craftsman I did about six months ago. There's really not much to it and if you look at the foundation it's actually pretty simple. It's just pretty much just a box and a little porch on the back and that's pretty much all I did. And then you know I did some rooms on the first floor. And then the second floor, um, there's like a little dormery or, you know, a dormer. And then, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Here's an example of the roof once it was completed. Here's an, another example of what you can do with gable roofing. Um, and I'm hoping with these tutorials that you will be able to get the hang of it. So, um, and here's just one more example that you can see here that I did. So first what you're going to want to do is um, select a lot that's big enough to build a driveway in case you want to build a driveway and a backyard. So I'm going to go ahead and select a big enough lot that I know I'll be able to fit, you know, this build. I feel like I'm kind of doing an overkill on here. You don't have to have a lot this big, but for tutorial sake, um, I'm going to go ahead and use a bigger lot so I have plenty of room to take my pictures and so you can get a good idea of how to do this. First, we're going to go ahead and lay down our foundation. In this case, I'm going to be doing a 7x7. Seven seven. I'm going to do two 7x7 seven seven squares. I'm going to put those, you know, uh, perpendicular to each other in the corners. I'm going to be making an L shape out of this. You can copy this if you'd like. You don't have to do the same exact thing, but I just wanted to keep things, you know, kind of simple. But yeah, you can copy this if you want to make this exact build. Feel free to go ahead. You don't have to credit me or anything. Build your foundation. Next, you're going to want to choose a porch of your liking. Um, you can either do an extended porch or you can do a porch that's kind of included in the main plan of your foundation. Um, in this case, I'm going to do an extended porch. I'm just going to go over two tiles. I'm going to drag that all the way over here. And I'm going to do another, like an L-shaped porch. Should look something like this. And then I'm also going to add a porch in the back. In this case, I kind of wanted to do the same thing as I did in the Country Craftsman I showed you earlier totally up to you what you want to do on your porches. Just keep in mind that um, you will have to build roofs over the extended porches. You see I decided to change this to three tiles. Um, I think it just worked better. So 
So before we move on to this next step, if you are doing the extended porches, go ahead and put a wall where the porch would be, just so you know exactly where it's going to be. Now we're going to be doing window nooks, and here are a couple of examples of what you can do with them. Drag and drop some foundation, do five tiles in this case, on each side where your long gable roofing is going to go. I'm going to do five foundation tiles right here. Five more foundation tiles right here. And you also notice that I forgot to put some foundation tiles on the back side of the back side of the house, but you'll see that I fixed that later. Just a, a mistake that I made in this video, and I didn't want to open my game back up to fix like one thing, so. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and build walls all the way around um, your foundation. Well, everywhere that we um, put these window nooks in, go ahead and build a wall around them. Now go ahead and go in build mode and go to roofing. You can do automatic walls and it looks the same, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and do this manually. So you have your short gabled roof and you have your long gabled roof. We're going to be using the long gabled roof for this part of the video. For the long gabled, you're going to want to go to this corner and you're going to want to drag and drop all the way over to the other corner. Just don't cover the window nooks because um, that's another detail that we're going to add in later. Go ahead and drag and drop this, release. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now we're going to move on to short cable roofing, and this is where the window nooks will come in. Now you're going to want to go back to the roofing and choose short gabled roof. Gable roof, sorry. And go to where we left those little nooks open and drag and drop one tile, or drag and drop all the way over. And then go over one tile and release. Or do the same thing for all of these little window nooks. And this will give the roofing some more dimension, a better aesthetic, if you will. This is the part where I realized I forgot a window nook right here. I had to go back and fix it real quick. No big deal. So I'm going to remove part of this porch. Same thing on the next one, short gable roof. Now this next step is totally optional, but I like it because it gives the house some depth. It gives it some minor details. Well, to do some cornices, you're gonna wanna go to your hip roof. Not to this outside tile, because if you do that, it would look something like this, and that doesn't make sense. Press the undo button if you did something like that. And you're going to want to drag this one tile from the very corner of that roof and release. You want to do the same thing to that corner. Drag and drop and go up one, 
and release. And you can do this for just this, just that one, or you could do it for the back roof too. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the back roof as well. Now there is another option called Dutch style roofing. This is the same concept as the cornices, but rather than only doing the one tile, we're going to be dragging across the entire, um, the entire five and seven tiles. You're going to go back to your hip roof and do the same thing that we did the last step, but you're going to want to drag all the way over and release. And go to that back roof, drag it back one tile, and drag that all the way over. You should have something that looks like that. Now I personally don't like this style only for certain builds that I use this, but it does look good when you're doing beach houses with gable roofing. For tutorial's sake I'm just going to show you how to do this so if you ever want to um, do, do this kind of style you can always switch back and forth. So our next step is porches. We're getting in our final steps here. I want to find you a nice column. In this case, I'm going to be using craftsman columns. And you want to place these columns about two to three squares apart. That way, you'll be able to get your root or your flooring above it. So after you get your columns in on all porches, and like I said, this is only for if you did an extended porch. So if you didn't do an extended porch, disregard this. Go ahead and lay down some flooring. Now where you put those three columns on the porch, go ahead and drag and drop it right there and fill in the spaces. We're actually going to do the same exact thing on the back porch. In this case, I think the porch is small enough where we can get away with just two columns. Do the same exact thing. Drag and drop your flooring over the foundation. Now I'm sure many of you know how to do this last part, but all you're going to do is take your hipped roof and drag and drop over the tiles only. Same thing for the back porch.
drag and drop your hip groove over those tiles. And you notice the angle of the roofs is so steep. Well, we're going to change that. And in order to do this, you're going to want to go over to this tool down here. I'm going to drag this all the way back down to 25 degrees. All you do is simply click the roof and it changes to that 25 degree angle. Do the same thing on the front porch. Now for the last and final step, we're going to be doing dormers. And this is a very easy, last, simple step. You're going to go to your second floor, add um, a room above wherever you want. It's pretty much your choice, how big you want it. I'm just going to be giving you the general idea of what you can do with your gable roofs. going to try to build my dormers as symmetrical as possible but you can build yours however you'd like you could even do smaller dormers if you wanted to You want to go back to your roofs and go to Long Gable, drag and drop over your dormers, and do the same for each of them. And if you notice, the roofs don't match up on the top, so you can go back to your uh, roof angles, change this down to 25 degrees. I kind of had to play with it a little bit until I figured out that 25 was kind of the sweet spot. Once you get down to 25 degrees, you'll see that everything matches up and everything is level and it just looks really nice. You do that for both of them. So much better. If you don't like this low slope, you could always change this back to 45 degrees. And to get the, the roofs on the second floor to match up, you're going to change those to 52 degrees. So change your dormers back to 45 degrees, and then pull this up all the way to 52. And change all the second story roofing to 52 degrees. Do this on all sides and you'll see everything's back level again. Quick note, um, the 45 degree angled uh, roofing does look a lot better in hood view. I've noticed that if you put tile on the second floor and then put roofing over it and then have a low slope that uh, it'll look kind of funky in hood view. So if you typically like to stick with 45 degree angles and if you are trying to decorate your neighborhood then I would definitely suggest the second option. So thank you so much if you watched that video all the way through. I hope you come back for the speed build. Um, thank you Sarah Smiles and Max Playground for helping me, uh, help giving me the encouragement to get this video started in the first place. And I wanna thank all my t followers on Twitter. Um, you guys are great. You guys have been like there from day one, like when the idea first came for me wanting to start this channel, this video. So yeah, share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. Uh, give me some feedback, positive, negative, like I wanna hear from you. So uh, yeah, I hope you have a great morning, night, day, wherever you are, and happy simming. Bye guys.